This video will outline how to create a daily site report in Gate 3. There are several prerequisites that are required before you can create a daily site report. Ensure that all the companies and contacts you'll be using have been associated to your project. We also recommend that you review this module's configuration settings. Daily site reports capture the day-to-day -day site activity details and project site information. To begin, select your project. Click the Start menu to navigate to the Field Management option and select the Daily Site Reports module. Click the New menu and select the Daily Site Reports option. A new Draft Daily Site Report tab is displayed. Fill in the necessary information throughout the sections. Fields with an asterisk are mandatory. In the Summary section, use the calendar icon to select the report date and use the drop-down arrow to select the shift from the predefined list. As a reminder, the shift type is configurable in the Daily Site Report settings. The shift superintendent defaults as configured in the settings. To change the shift superintendent, click the Change contact link and select the superintendent from the list. The environmental section contains the site weather conditions and any other pertinent weather information affecting the schedule. There are three options for weather conditions. The Get Current Conditions pulls current weather conditions from the configured external weather station. The Get Weather Forecast displays the four-day weather forecast pulled from the external weather station. Use the Add Current Conditions to manually enter the weather conditions. In this example, the Get Weather Forecast option will be used. Any weather supporting documentation can also be attached in the Weather Report section. Site Staff section contains information for management and hourly staff. To copy this information from a previously saved report, click the Copy from Previous option within the applicable line. In this example, the Copy from Previous has been used. To manually add staff, click on the Manage Staff Members and select the contact from the list. Use the filter text boxes to search and locate the contact. If the contact does not appear on the list, you will be required to associate the contact to your project. Once you locate the contact, select the contact and click the Add Contacts button. Then click on Apply. Enter the number of manpower for each line if applicable. Once the Management Staff section is filled in, complete the Hourly Staff section by either manually filling in the information or copying the information from the previously saved report. The Subtrade section contains all the daily subtrade information. In this section, you can either copy the information from a previously saved report or add the subtrades manually. In this example, the subtrades will be added manually. To begin, click the Add Subtrade button. Use the filter text boxes to search for the subtrade company you wish to use. As a reminder, if the company does not appear on the list, you will be required to associate the company to your project. Once you locate the company, select the subtrade company from the list and click on the Select Highlighted Company button. Click on the Edit link to begin entering the subtrade details. Enter any comments or attach any supporting documentation if required. To capture any type of work delays, select the Work Delay field and fill in the necessary information. Remember to click the Apply link to save the subtrade information. The Miscellaneous Information section contains site visitors, progress photos, and deliveries information. Site visitors can either be selected from your project contact list or entered manually by using the appropriate option. In the following example, the site visitor is not listed in the project contact list. Click on the Add Ad Hoc Contact and enter their contact information. Please note, that by adding ad hoc contacts, the contact person is not added into your project contact list. Click on the Save link located under the Actions column to save the visitor's information. To pull any progress photos from the Media module, click on the Add Photos option. Log any deliveries in this section. Concrete pour reports are created from within the concrete placement section of your daily site report. Please note that you can only create a concrete pour report once the daily site report has been saved as draft. 
Use the comments log section to record any additional information. Enter your comments in the text box and then click on apply. Click the attach files button to upload a file. Once all the sections have been filled in with the necessary information, click on the save icon to save the daily site report. Alternatively, if you wish to modify your report at a later time, click on the save as draft icon. You now have a better understanding of how to create a daily site report. The next step in this process is to either create a concrete pour report from your draft daily site report or gather and log the concrete test results. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.